the Ukrainians, and I think everybody, is shocked by the weakness of Obama's statement. It is, I find it rather staggering. And the fact that we have done nothing of any importance. But let me look at that statement, the one that you just quoted. Obama says, he didn't say there will be costs. He said, we will stand with the international community, meaning we're going to negotiate with a dozen other countries who will water down the statement, in affirming that there will be costs, meaning in making a statement, not even imposing a cost, but in making a statement about imposing a cost for any military intervention. So he's like three levels removed. And what he's saying is we're not really going to do anything and we're telling the world. And the reason all of this is important is because even the language of diplomacy, even though it's not going to change anything on the ground, it's a code and it tells Europeans and others how serious we are and how much we want to, to carry it through. For example, you have a senior administration official saying we will consider a boycott of the G8 summit supposed to be in Russia announce today the boycott will be imposed as of now unless Russia withdraws. Withdraw our ambassador in Moscow. Make a statement that means something. How about advocate Georgia uh, in NATO or uh, do something bold? Well, one thing that you could do under the Montreal Convention of 1936, <laughs> I looked all this stuff up, we are allowed uh, two frigates in the Black Sea why not announce that we're going to send them there? It's not going to, we're, going, we're not going to go to war. But that's what actually the Bush administration announced after the invasion of Georgia. I mean, the world looks at this statement. Obama's essentially saying, he said, any uh, violation of Ukrainian territory is destabilizing, and that's not in Russia's interest. He is instructing Putin on what is in Russia's interest. I can, be, I can assure you, Putin has calculated his own interest and he's calculated that detaching Crimea from Ukraine and making it essentially a, a colony of Russia is in Russia's interest because he knows he has nothing to fear from the West because it's not led by anybody used to be led by the United States.